Hey, it's Dr. Fox, and let's talk about seasonal patterns of emotions, thoughts, and functioning. So when I talk about seasonal patterns, what we're looking at, we're looking at time of year, right? So we're talking about winter, spring, summer, or fall. Now, a lot of times when we go from fall to winter, a lot of individuals feel an increase in their depression or sadness, or even in some cases, some individuals have a higher likelihood of manic episodes or reactions during winter and spring, summer, and fall. So we see these changes and these patterns of behavior. Now, when I work with my clients, a lot of times, many of them will say, oh, we're going into winter and I know that I'm going to start to get depressed. But then we have to explore the idea. Okay, so is this a self-fulfilling prophecy? So what we have to do is we have to start monitoring different symptoms and behaviors and tendencies as we move into these different seasons. And certainly if you live somewhere where it's cloudy and you don't have a lot of sun, there is actually light therapy that can be helpful. Tanning beds can also be helpful. I know that when, when I was in uh, West Virginia for uh, graduate school, I'd come from Florida before that and being up north-ish, it's kind of up north-ish, uh, even though I grew up up north, but uh, further up north. But I started to kind of have this depression, this sluggishness. And people noticed. And they said, oh, you should go to a tanning bed and try it out. And I did. Now I got, I got a little nice tan. But also, though, I found that I had a little more energy. And that's something to consider. But what that tells us is that all of us have some degree of tendency for a seasonal pattern or response. But for those with BPD, that are struggling to understand their symptoms and understand their effective response to seasonal patterns, I think that it's really important to monitor your symptoms, behaviors, even your thoughts, and even your images and sleep patterns as the year goes on. Now, does it mean you have to do it every day? No. What you could do is you could have a list or a tracker that you use once a week, and you can say, you know, you can rate your moods or your thoughts or your memories for particular times. And that will give you some insight. Try to do that over a year or six months or whatever you can do because it's going to build that insight. And the thing about insight is that it empowers you with choice. And when you're empowered with choice, then you select the options of your life, whether it's seasonal pattern or whether it's a relationship issue or whatever it is. We have to look into those things. And those seasonal patterns is that you'll see that it could impact your mood and your perspective. Now, there was a disorder in the DSM, which is Diagnostic Statistical Manual, called Seasonal Affective Disorder. Now, they have since gotten rid of that. And now it's what's called a specifier, and it's with seasonal patterns. And you can see it in depression. Uh, it's also a, a specifier for bipolar disorder, things like that, because what it's identifying is this tendency for a change in your effective response, right? When effective, we know it's emotional. So it could be a little mania, a little more hyper, or it could be depressive, or you could be a little more melancholy or sad during the winter months, or perhaps in spring or summer that you have more energy, you're more up. Maybe you're engaging more reckless behavior. So, and I'm in no way saying that if you have that seasonal pattern, because remember, I just mentioned a moment ago, we all kind of have a little bit of that. But if you have that seasonal pattern, doesn't mean you have bipolar disorder, doesn't mean you have major depression, doesn't mean that you have BPD. But we want to build awareness into that affectivity and how that influences your beliefs, behaviors, patterns, thoughts, and images that are in your head. Your psychology. How is the season impacting your psychology? And what I know with working with folks with BPD is that they're effectively sensitive in a lot of ways. And that means not only with the seasons, but it can also be in particular instances, like with relationships or with your favorite person or with individuals in your life. Could be work, could be things that matter to you, things that are important or things you're afraid of. So it's important to look at those things. And I think with that spectrum of BPD and that reactivity of affect and seasonal patterns, we have to be even more focused on those changes, be even more focused on how you respond. 
and how you get through those different scenarios, those different seasons. And learning about yourself, doing just what I said, just tracking that can really help you get there. Because again, the more you know, the more powerful you are to control it, to manage it. And that's what we want. That's what we want to do. We want to empower you to manage it and build in some coping strategies. If it's depression that you feel, okay. So during the winter months or the more cloudy months, depending on where you live, then you know, I start to get kind of bummed out. Then you can look at tanning beds, get a nice tan maybe, but also light therapy, having a, a little light in your, in your home maybe, or a specific light or somewhere that has the right amount of light, so on and so forth. And you can Google it and look it up. It's better to look at Google Scholar than it is just regular Google sites. Because if you look at Google Scholar, you'll actually look at some research that uh, make sure it's in a peer-reviewed journal, but you can also see what type of bulbs they were using, what types of lights they were using, and that's really important because it's not just a regular white light. That may not be the same, but looking at those things and adding those things, and what about that hyper-reactivity to a seasonal pattern? Then if you know that you're at a higher probability of having that high reactivity, that manic light or hyper-manic light or hyper state, then what you want to do is you want to add even more awareness to your functioning and what you do. You want to be more aware. Oh, you know what? I know that I'm going to be more reactive because it's spring, it's summer, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm super excited, stuff like that. So that can be your seasonal pattern. Build that insight. Also, leave comments. Let everyone know who watches these videos what you do to manage your seasonal pattern really, really important. And it can be one more thing that you learn about yourself so that you understand yourself better and use that to manage different situations. I hope it's helpful. Leave comments, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.